Hello and welcome to our weekly Head Teacher Roundup. We're going to go straight in to our shout outs for students and staff and we're going to start with English 7Y2 and 7X2 for their fantastic work on Greek mythology uh, and goddesses. So well done to those two groups. And then on to 8X3, English from Miss Goff and Miss Lucy. Again, fantastic work, fantastic commitment shown by that group. So again, well done to you. Next on to Expressive Arts, uh, 9Y1, congratulated by Mrs Slim, who were absolutely fantastic this week. They created a whole opening scene to Romeo and Juliet using Shakespeare's curses and prologue. So well done. The atmosphere that they created in that drama studio was a top draw. So fan fantastic work by 9Y1. And then individuals. So well done to Kenzie Lambert in year 10 for his superb photography lesson, uh, showing his determination to succeed and to do really well in his studies. Uh, absolute pleasure to teach Kenzie, so well done. Moving now on to the sixth form. So the sixth form have worked hard on the classroom to care homes and setting that up, but individually, uh, the students have been working excellently as they prepare um, to finish off year 12, moving to year 13, and those year 13 students looking at what's the next step for them, whether it's college and university. So what's been happening? First off in photography, uh, they've been exploring the darkroom. They've produced some stunning images, uh, particularly Amber Elliott, who's been using her skills to support year 10 uh, on their studies uh, as part of her work-related learning course. The entire group have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, Miss Rawlings is really proud and looks forward to teaching you every week. So well done in particular uh, to the sixth form photography group. Next up, Mackenzie, uh, Mr. LaRue's group, Bailey in Miss Allen's group and Adam in Miss Brennan's group for their dedication and commitment to their studies. They've completed their extra tutor work, their study programs, they're absolutely flying with their work at the moment. So well done uh, to those three guys, fantastic. And then well done to the sixth form students in media studies, uh, particularly to Betsy, Kelsey, Adam and Bailey, who were invited to St. Osis Primary this week and they filmed a nativity play, uh, which was absolutely fantastic that CCA are working with the primary feeder schools uh, and these students took it upon themselves with Miss Galloway, with Mr Slim, to go down uh, and to record this at a time when parents can't come into the schools. This was a fantastic opportunity and they did a brilliant job, uh, all using COVID restrictions. Uh, they were filming outside with chickens and donkeys and a horse. Um, they say never work with children, I think never work with animals as well and they've learnt loads. So a practical, engaging lesson, helping out the primary schools and at this time of year what a fantastic job to record a primary school nativity. So well done to you. And that's the end of my shout outs. So let's just uh, finish off with outlining to, to both parents and to students uh, what's gonna happen over the last two weeks. So in line with the government announcement from Mick Gibb, the, edu uh, the schools minister, we will be closed on Friday the 18th as a staff training day. As a result, the last day in school for students this year will be Thursday the 17th of December. We will have normal lessons on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday morning. Students will then have their Christmas activities in the afternoon on Thursday and will finish then on Thursday the 17th. They will have their Christmas lunch that they can purchase on Wednesday. Other than that, it will be a normal week uh, and I'm really looking forward to celebrating the final week of this year with the students next week. We will then return with a PD day. So on Monday the 4th of January will be a PD day where staff will be in the academy. Students will return on Tuesday the 5th of January and that will be for the spring term. Students in year 11 will have uh, 35 days to their mock examinations, their second lot of mock examinations. And what we will also do on that first day back is have our year 11 parents evening. So that will be an opportunity for parents in year 11, of, of students in year 11, to meet with staff, discuss their English, maths, their science grades, how they're doing, what they need to do, and then we will work with students to prepare them for their second set of mock exams as we approach our final exams in the summer. So students in uh, year 13 and year 11, second set of mocks around February half term. So that's it from me, lots going on. I'm delighted we've been able to prepare 72 hampers to support the most needy uh, families in our community. Thank you to the safeguarding team for doing that. I'm really proud of the students for they've, they've been taking part in the Classrooms to Care Homes initiative and so much going on in the academy. I'm really delighted with everything that's happening. So thank you parents for all your support. Look forward to seeing you next week for the final time and hoping and wishing you a very happy Christmas when it arrives. Thank you.